turning to news being made here on campus, what's in our water? UT Toledo researchers set out to search for pesticides in the Ottawa River, and as UT10 Shabazz Khan reports, they were shocked by what they found instead. This analytical chemistry lab in the University of Toledo develops new strategies to measure environmental contaminants, pharmaceutical pollutants, and microplastics in water sources. We developed a method that will take just three minutes to uh, extract the, uh, the pollutants from water and a couple of minutes to analyze with the instrument. Many students and local residents enjoy kayaking on this Ottawa River, which flows through the University of Toledo main campus. And to test their model concept for water pollutants, Dr. Emanuela's student collected sample from this part of the Ottawa River where the kayak landing is. And they collected the sample twice. And what did they find out? It was a uh, uh, analysis that we meant to show that there are pesticides but we actually found Alyssa, we found cocaine and methadone uh, instead, uh, which we will verify later that that is exactly what was in that water. Although very small percent of the two illicit drugs was found in the water sample. But this tells us that it's important to monitor the quality of the water that flows in our campus. It is very difficult to mitigate the presence of environmental pollutant. In Toledo, I'm Shabazz Khan, UT10 News. Researchers say they are looking for ways to make filters to remove the harmful chemicals. If you'd like to read the researchers' reports, log on to ut10news.com.